Target for Tonight is a 1941 British documentary film builders filmed and acted by the Royal Air Force, all while under fire. It was directed by Harry Watt. The film is about the crew of a Wellington aircraft. The film went on to win an honorary Academy Award in 1942 and Best Documentary by the National Board of Review in 1941. Plot before the film, several text cards explain bombers and the Royal Air Force chain of command. The film begins with an observation aircraft flying over and dropping a box of undeveloped film. Bomber Command develops the film and analyzes the resulting photographs, which are presented for the audience to see. There has been a massive build-up by German forces in the subject area for the past few months. The film shows the planning of the mission, even detailing how the bomber wing chooses munitions for the task. The weather forecast is expected to be good and the pilots are briefed. The crew of F for Freddy, the bomber that is the focal point of the film, suit up and take off. While over Germany, the crew bombs the target, dead on for one bomb but their aircraft is hit by flak from faceless anti-aircraft gunners. The radio operator is hit in the leg and Freddy is the last aircraft to return. Miss covers the water, prompting worry at the command. Meanwhile, Freddy cannot climb after the flak hit. They are not losing altitude but are in a bad situation. Tension builds in the film until finally, F for Freddy, lands. No aircraft are lost and the mission is a complete success. Production the film was shot at RAF Milden Hall and at actual RAF Bomber Command headquarters in High Wycombe, with the head of Bomber Command Sir Richard Peace and Senior Air Staff Officer Sir Robert Saundby appearing in the film. In order to not give away information to the enemy, RAF Milden Hall took the fictitious name of Militon Aerodrome and several other aspects were altered involving the day-to-day -day operations. Squadron leader Dixon, the captain of F for Freddy, was played by Percy Picard, who went on to lead Operation Biting and Operation Jericho, a raid on Amiens prison, during which he lost his life along with his navigator, FLT, LT, J.A. Bill Broadley. The second pilot was played by Gordon Woolat, also appearing as Constance Babington Smith who as a serving WAAF officer at the time was responsible for photographic interpretation of aerial reconnaissance pictures. Appearing in the control room, seen is world record holder John Cobb, then a serving RAF officer. Although the film was about a bomber squadron flying Wellingtons, the aircraft shown on the film poster are Bolton Paul Defiant Fighters. Popular culture, Herman Wouk, in his novel The Winds of War, included a Wellington bomber christened F for Freddy, in an episode of the story. The lead character, American naval captain Victor Henry, flies on board F for Freddy, as an observer during a bombing mission over Berlin. Wouk's fictional narrative evokes portions of the real F for Freddy's mission log. One of their bombs hits the target squarely and flak damages the plane and injures one of their crew members in the leg. They have trouble holding altitude but make it back after a long, tense flight over hostile territory. Scenes from the film were included in the episode Whirlwind from the documentary British World War II documentary The World at War. The documentary criticized the film for what it considered was an unrealistic portrayal of strategic bombing. Until the development of radio navigational aids and the Pathfinder force later in the war, many British bombers failed to find their targets. A possible identity of F for Freddy is Wellington MK1COJF which was serving with no. 149 Squadron from November 1940 to September 1941.